Hey, right on, right on. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome everybody to the Rikishi Drivers Talk Show. It is Good Friday, November the 20th, 2020. 2020. I hope that everybody's having a great time out there. Hope you had a wonderful week. It is kind of cold, as you can see. I'm up here just warm and all red looking like Santa Claus. Sir, I had to jump in real quick. I think your mic might have disconnected. Can you make sure it's plugged into the computer? We own. Okay, all right. Let's there try. you go. <laughs> Are we going to try this again or what? Let's go. You can start again if you wanted to. I don't know what happened, but your mic just cut out randomly. Well, I mean, are we live now? Yes, sir, we are. Well, uh, well, hey, this is why it's uncut. Well, welcome, Hamza. Thank you for popping in. You know, I was like, I'll, I'll introduce myself <laughs> at this point. <laughs> well, well, anyways, well, I, I, hell, this is what happens when you know when you're doing technical things online and so forth. But again, in case nobody has heard, welcome to the Rikishi Drivers Show. It is uh, November the twentieth. And it is 2020. Hope everybody's having a great time out there. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, you know, Friday, everybody looks forward for Friday because, you know, you're able to kind of, you know, finally just chill from all the madness that you had uh, during the week from Monday all the way up to now. And now is that time, hopefully, that you got some time to rest and to be able to gather your mind together, spend some time with your family and recoup and reset and get ready for uh, the following week. But I want to take this time well, uh, to talk about a very special, special guest of mine that I have that is going to come on the show. As you all can uh, see before we advertise about Savio Vega. Now, this guy here, he's a longtime friend of mine. I want to say I met Savio back in the day in uh, the late eight, uh, the late, uh, eighties back in, uh, Puerto Rico when, uh, me and my cousin Samu actually came down to Puerto Rico and we worked for Carlos Colon's company out there. And, you know, uh, when I met this cat, you know, we just took off, you know, our relationship as business, uh, took off. And also we became very, very good friends. And during the years, uh, as I left Puerto Rico, I actually uh, came across Savio again when we were uh, actually up in WWF, WWE Today. And so for, you know, so uh, with further ado, I'd rather, you know, instead of me telling about all the stories in our relationship, ladies and gentlemen, and let me give a proper and respectful introduction. My friend, soon to become a WWE Hall of Famer in the future, I want to bring on a very, very close friend of mine, Savio Vega, the legend, the icon. Savio! <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, qué Thank pasó? you. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, hermanos? How, how are you? you? How are you? Bien, but, but I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm, 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 I'm happy, happy to, to talk to you every time we talk. And uh, I'm excited for because tomorrow we're going to be seeing each other you know, and, uh, yeah. and see the other rest of the BSK crew. And, uh, and listen, let me correct you on something. We met here in Puerto Rico. Then after that, we we met again and we worked together in Japan, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Then from ah. there, Yoko went to WWF. Then you too. Then Bamba Bigelow. Yes, we 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 uh, we, we uh, worked together in uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. <laughs> And, and I'm brother, sorry. And it's a, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Man, I miss you, man. I miss you so much. Uh, uh, it's you been know. a long it's been a long time uh, since I've seen you, and we've had yeah. a lot of we've had a lot of great memories and great road trips together with me, you, Yoko, and Uncle Fuji <laughs> back in the day. So I so love Savio, you because we we we. Uh, 
Okay, so there might have been. Go ahead. You kind of froze. You kind of froze. You kind of froze up there, Savio. Go ahead. You hear me? I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, I can hear. I can hear you now. No, say that, that I'm laughing. I'm, yeah, I'm laughing because all the time we are laughing. We have a good time, and we always, uh, you know, have fun. And 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 man, what's a uh, what's a brotherhood? What's a brotherhood? Yeah. yeah thank you, you all, You've always looked after the Samoan and my family. Uh, every time that we came to Puerto Rico, but you know, enough about us and my family. How have you been? What you been up to? I'm I'm okay. I'm happy. Uh, you know, since we left the the company, uh, I I married again. I have four kids, three boys and one girl. You know, working in the island with uh, wrestling. I opened back the company again, and now I uh, I just. You know, throw my my candidate for 2024 as a mayor of my hometown. So I'm doing oh. I'm doing okay. You know, uh, surviving like uh, like uh, everybody. You know, in in this pandemic, uh, just just uh, take care of myself, take care of my family, and and survive. That's that's more 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 or less. You know, uh, taking care of myself. Wow, you're actually running for the mayor of your of your county. Yes. Wow, how did that yeah, come about? My, my hometown, my Vega Alta. I mean, been I, I have that a uh, long time ago, and people in, in in you know past years was asking me uh, if you have run. The way they asked that was like uh, kind of a fishy, and you know you cannot work a worker. So I yeah. see uh, how they come and approach me, and I say I'm not I'm not ready for that. So now I feel like I'm kind of ready. Uh, still four years, uh, uh, you know, to go, to learn, to, to know more about the politics and, and make it better. I'm not a politician. You know me. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a human being, and I, I'm there for the people. So let's see what happened in four years. Well, you know, the good thing about it is that me, this is just me speaking as a brother, man, that I know how you are. Like, you don't hold no punches. What you see is, uh, what you say is what you see. And you never cover code anything. Exactly. So good luck to you, man. Uh, oh. You know, I hope that everything works out well for you Thank being you. a mayor uh, for your for your city there in your county, man. All right, so what else is going Thank on you. in there Thank in Puerto you. Rico for you? How's the company that you run out well, there in Puerto Rico? Uh the, we start last year, the 2019, and we run the through the, the whole year. Uh, uh, Souls, uh, Souls, small arenas because the hurricane destroyed a lot of things here. Uh, and, and now that we are getting up, you know, start running again or maybe walking, the uh, the pandemic come and, and sit us again. So. I mean, we're just waiting to, oh. to see if the, the pandemic go away. The people have to take care of themselves because if they don't take care of themselves, it's going to be impossible to, to reopen. So let's see what happened in the future. You know, I, I felt, you know, when that happened, a uh, hurricane hit Puerto Rico. You know, I felt so, so bad and uh, sorry uh, for the people of Puerto Rico when that hit. You know, I, I'm an island boy myself. And I come from the islands as well. And to be yeah. able to have something like that hit a small island like that and not to, you know, try to try to recover from everything. It's been a very difficult task for you guys out there in Puerto Rico, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I remember uh, uh, Rikishi. I remember uh, we are on the road one time in WWF and uh, we come, I don't know where. And I remember you said to me, we are islanders and we have to take care of each other. You come from an island, I might come from an island and we have to take care. And we always stay together, you know, we take care of each other, Sam, uh, you, Yoko, you know, uh, and, and of course the rest of the of the team, you know, the BSK team, but we are coming from an island and we have to take care and stick together on that. Yeah, well, we've been together for well over 30 years, my friend, and I pray it, and we yeah. hope that uh, we're together for another 30 years. You know, it's always good to see you and yeah. 
And I can't wait to see tomorrow. You're talking about BSK. My goodness. This is probably a 20-year reunion or 25, right? That we all have yeah. been, been together. Yeah, today. Yeah, today about uh, in the afternoon, <laughs> uh, Mark Cottenberry, the, the one next to the Paul Bearer right there, uh, he called me today, and he he told me, "I'm excited, man! I'm excited! I, I can't wait!" I said, "Well, tomorrow is the day." So, man, uh, yeah, I got goosebumps right now, you know, and uh, you know, it's gonna be a, a good a good night tonight, to tomorrow night. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I mean, we all been talking on the side and so forth, you know, and you know, to be able to have all of us come full circle after twenty something years, yeah. you know. We're going to embrace the moment. We're going to check into the hotel tomorrow. We're going to have a little bit of gaga, a little bit of goo goo, and then play some bones and catch up. You <laughs> little, know? little bit of gaga and the ha ha. <laughs> the gaga and the ha ha, brother. <laughs> so listen. It's going to be happy, happy, happy. Tell me one of your favorite BSK yeah. stories. Wow. Uh, well, <laughs> there's so many of them, but you, just tell me. Oh, Tell me a quick one. <laughs> something quick, some, something <laughs> quick. I remember uh, what uh, you there was Yoko, uh, was Papa, uh, uh, was there and me. And Papa I don't know Shango. what happened. Papa just wrecked. Yeah, Papa Shango, like Godfather. He just wrecked. We are in a Cadillac. And he just wrecked the Cadillac. Something happened. <laughs> and I remember he said, uh, guys, uh, he said to Yoko, I said, Yoko, you know, I got the gimmick, I got to go. And he jumped on a taxi and he disappeared. And Yoko said, okay, everybody out. We get out of the car. Well, let's jump in a taxi. And I, I remember, what are you going to do with the car? That's rent a car. Let's go. You know, and we left the car right there. I don't know what happened with the car. Uh, hey, you remember? Another story I re quick. Uh, I remember that story. That Yoko, was there in uh, Fuji. That was in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. That was in Cleveland, Ohio, where I we wrecked the... So wrecked the Cadillac DeVille. It was a big white Cadillac. <laughs> we actually, when we wrecked it because it was snowing, when we wrecked, when he wrecked the car, yeah. the car was actually sitting on like one of those poles. They were doing construction to put Something. up one of those <laughs> pole lights. You remember? So the yeah. car slid yeah. and it went right yeah. on top yeah. of the, on top of where they were putting the, the light poles at. <laughs> and we, I remember Yoko just said, just leave it like that. We're, we're, let's get out of here, you know? Yeah. Let's let's go. I said, but what are you <laughs> gonna do with the car? I said, don't worry. That's a rent a car. Uh, <laughs> another story for the for the fans. Uh, you know, uh, God bless Mr. Fuji, Fuji, yeah. Uncle Fuji, Uncle Fuji. Uh, Uncle Fuji. He, he teach me a lot how to work. Yeah, he he, he teach me how to work in in WBF a lot of time uh, with the character of Kwan. And and I remember we are also was a Lincoln or a Caddy something like that, and uh, I was driving. Uh, dude was next to me, and Uncle Fuji is in the back sleeping. He he just put his ass in the seat and he just <laughs> went to sleep right away. So we are we are driving this day, and uh, and Junior is like uh, looking at the map. He said, uh, "We are we near, but I don't know where's the arena." I remember he says, "Uncle." Uncle, where's the exit? And just Fuji, just he did like he undertake it. He just she up. He said right here. He said right here. <laughs> That's the exit. I, I remember. I just went like warm. And what's right there? He he. That man know every exit, every town, every road in the United States. Yeah. He was there for what forty years, you know, and yeah. uh, and he know the the the, the eating places that. The, the Chinese, nice places, Chinese the food. hotel places, you know, oh, let's go Chinese, Chinese in Boston, Chinese, Chinese. Oh, my God. I'm missing Uncle, Uncle Fuji, man. Uh, uh, Uncle Fuji, he knew his favorite thing at Chinese restaurant was, uh, Savio Jr., can you please get uh, Wong Tong Soup Steamy Hot? Steamy Hot Extra yeah. Scallions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, he, he, he was... Uh, the last time uh, I saw him was uh, we went to a signing somewhere, and uh, I saw him. I went and went towards him, and I hugged him and kissed him, you know. And uh, uh, you know, shit happened, no. And uh, yeah, but I'm missing. I'm missing that man. 
I mean, you know, and unfortunately, it happens to good people. You know, we've uh, lost in our crew of BSK. We've lost Brian Adams' crush. Uh, we've lost Uncle Harry, yeah. Uncle Fuji. Uh, we lost uh, Yoko, Paul Bearer. I Uncle, mean, we, we, Uncle, we, we, you know. We lost four guys. You know, a lot of people don't know, but we were like the first diverse group in professional wrestling. Oh, you yeah. got a Puerto Rican, you got Samoans, you got black, yeah. you got white. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> There were so many of yes. us that, yeah. but we all, and, we all and we loved it. We are like this all the time. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. And you, you know, you, you seldom find stuff like, you, you seldom find a, people like that in the industry, right, Savio? Because in our industry, you can never really oh, yeah, trust, trust certain people that, you know, you see them in the locker room, but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's like you can, you know, you got to kayfabe a lot of things for speaking around them because, you don't know if they, you know, stewed you out to the to the promoters or whoever the case exactly. it may be. But we never had that we, problem. With us, that never happened. Never. No. Never. Never. We we always together. I remember the the time uh, 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 Yoko uh, here the the Razor Ramon, you know, says that they want to give me fire because I cut the, the ponytail and stuff like that. That happened mm -hmm. in Stamford, Connecticut, and uh, and he and he told me he say next day he saw me he say I say this this happened, and uh, he get up, went to the, their table and tell him right there, why you yeah. gonna do that for you know to to Savio? I mean he's just you know he's working to take the, you know food to his uh, table to his family, and you want to get him fired, you son of a bitches you know he he is, and he next day he told me hey. This happened last night, and I say this, this, this. I said, brother, you know, that's that's uh, that's brother. We we never have uh, a no for for any any of the guys. Always uh, straight to the to the point, and uh, yeah. man, we take care of each other. I re I remember one what? time in one bar. I just I was bad. I mean, I was past, and I remember I, I went up and and, and take her. Uh, told somebody I don't even remember. I say. Take him to the hotel, and uh, I remember I, I believe it was you and Yoko, and, uh, yeah, and, and this that was Canada. me. That was me. <laughs> you and Yoko, huh? yeah. yeah. But I remember Yoko because I was in the back of the seat. I said, I'm out, and uh, I remember Yoko uh, say, "Hey, what's up? Get up!" And I get up. I went like a, I say f word to him. He said, "Oh yeah,", yeah. and he closed the door. I was so down yeah. that but I, I fell asleep and uh about <laughs> i don't know how long it took i start i start shaking myself because it was so cold the snow was so high and i start shaking myself and i you know that shaking wake me up and i try to open the doors the, the the back door have the child lock and i just jump in the front open the door the alarm come off i just went to the front it was a holiday i remember i, I went to push the door and the door was locked, and I started yelling, you know, yanking the, the, the doors. And the Indian guy is like, Stop, You're stop right there, stop. You know, and uh, I was like frozen, went to my room, jump in the bed. Oh my God. Well, you know, before we went upstairs, we pulled the window down. I remember Yoko said, Don't worry, just put the window down. He'll wake up because it'll be cold as hell by the time he gets up. You know? Oh my God. My God, I just, I, I was, I was shaking. I remember I woke up like, da, 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 you know, and uh, good times, good times. I remember another, uh, listen, guys, to whoever is out there, uh, we are at the jet in, in uh, Newark, New Jersey. Uh -oh. and we just arrived from, I don't know where, close by, and we have to fly next day and no room. I mean, everything no was sleep. packed. So, uh, no sleep. So, so I remember they said just one room for three guys. And uh, Yoko took one bed. We took the mattress. And uh, I just she just I just jumped in the box. So I have I have Yoko here. I'm in the middle and I got Fatu in the other side. I don't sleep that night. Because Yoko and him both I'm like a, what the yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> That was sleep. all that was I all just... Yoko. That wasn't me. <laughs> 
So the people, I, I, I remember. I, oh my god. <laughs> people, people hey, don't know. Rem I, remember this? You remember this? <laughs> what? The towel and the plane. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't don't go there. <laughs> don't go there with that. <laughs> so, no, no, all right, I'm, <laughs> that's 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 just leave it in there. Yeah, that's too much information there. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> Let's just that's say too much information. Exactly. No, I, I'm gonna go like this. Let's just say when you have a long, long flight and you and you can't fit in the restroom in the bathroom of the plane, then you have to adapt oh and God. use whatever it is. <laughs> Oh Lord! Well, you have to do whatever you have to do. You got whatever you have to do, man. You know, even if you have to have some friend stand up and hold the blankets like a like a, a towel to and cover everything. You, and help you uh, be there. <laughs> oh my goodness! I just goodness. remember I was sleeping when. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize again. He's out there in Puerto Rico, and and he's kind of freezing. Just give it a second. Oh. Reset. Yeah, oh my he's goodness. coming from overseas, you know. <laughs> All the way in Puerto Rico. He's coming live yeah. on here, oh. Facebook Live. Yeah, right. Savio, we could we can hear you, Savio. We just can't see you at this point. There you are. Okay. Now we can see you. I'm here. All I'm right, you're probably. Here. You're freezing up. I'm sure it's the Wi-Fi where you're at, way out there in Puerto Rico. I ho hopefully, it's not a freaking another tsunami is coming your way. <laughs> I don't yeah. think you can hear us anymore. Don't hear can us. you hear us? Okay. Uh, we apologize, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you might want to go down to your mute button, the bottom left, and check the mute button, Savio. No sound. No sound. Yeah, he can't hear us at this point. Can, we can hear you. <laughs> right. Check your mute button. Can you hear us? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've all, all of a sudden went to sign language. <laughs> 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 we are having a different a, a system. Yeah. W we can't hear you, Salvio. I can so, hear you. Oh, can now hear? we hello. can hear you. Hello, hello, hello. All right, you're there. We can hear you. <laughs> I think uh, Savio should, if you can, you can't hear us. I can't even tell me anything. Leave and come back. Okay. Um, well, uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say there. You know? <laughs> that was getting a, good. That was like the uh, best part of the story, too. Left on a cliffhanger. I'm like, wait, wait, what happened with those towels? <laughs> yeah, let's just try to see if uh, he's able to kind of get back on to finish his story there. But if not, you know, we apologize for oh. technical difficulties. Like, good as we was getting into the good part. <laughs> Maybe we could test him if you can check on him again. So, ladies and gentlemen, so, you know, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're going to kind of wait for a second to see if he can get his uh, Savio Zen there um, all squared away. And then we can kind of finish up. Yeah, man, but he was getting into some serious stories there, man. Okay, there you go. Savio, can you hear us? I'm Puerto here. Rico. Here. Wait. Yeah. Okay, now we can hear yes. you. Now, now I hear yes. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Yes, yes. All right, everything's good now. You can hear me clear. I can hear you clear. Uh, um, <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, listen, so, I'm excited so we, to We have we have fun. We have, we have fun, man. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. And we're going to have a lot more fun tomorrow uh, when we see each other and the whole crew. As we all know, it's uh, Taker's 30th year anniversary. And so, you know, BSK, it's been a long time since I drank Jack Daniels. But damn it, I think I'm going to go ahead and make an exception to have a <laughs> shot of Jack Daniels with the BSK, BSK crew tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. What do you listen, think? Listen, I... I... I, uh, every time that we went to, to, to the bars, and the first thing is a shot of Jack for everybody. You know, yep. and uh, I hate Jack Daniels. I, uh, I Jack Daniel honey is okay. 
But the Jack Daniel, ah, uh, just think about it. It's like, ah, uh, you know. But tomorrow, like, if we when we get together, oh yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna have that shot. You remember we used to drink the shot of Jack Daniels, Taker and Yoko used to say, "Don't just drink it. You have to drink it and gargle in your mouth." You remember, like you can't you can't swallow it. You got to gargle yeah, first. Yes. I was like, well, what, what, the, what the hell is the difference? So when, when I gargled that shot of Jack, man, I mean, it went straight to your brain. You know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, back, uh, at, back in the day, right, so I mean, back, yeah. back in the day, we yes. didn't have people to look after us. You know, the boys, we looked after each other. You know what I mean? We, we, we couldn't go to the hospital. You didn't want to miss the, you didn't want to miss the booking or you didn't want to, let the company or, you know, Vince and everybody know that you're hurt. And so we would just kayfabe a lot of that. And we yeah. kind of just keep it among ourselves because, you know, if you go home and you're in the middle of an ankle or whatever the case, you're not sure if you're going to have a job if you come back. Yeah, you you remember I was the one that, that cracked the neck and the back of the guys. It was the, the, the chiropractor right there. I was the one to, to help everybody. You know, yeah. uh, I remember, I remember uh, uh, late uh, Bam Bam Bigelow, uh, one time he says uh, in the meeting, uh, we know we cannot have nobody to, you know, cracking our backs or whatever. And it happened to him, he, he hurt his neck. So, yeah. you know, because he said, nobody want to touch us, I don't want to touch. It. I remember we went to White Plains and, uh, and said, Bam, I know what happened to you. I could fix you. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Lay down here, and he lay down, and I fix his his neck, and I fix his back, and he's like a man. I said, well, you know, you say that comment. That's why I was quiet, and I want to touch you. But I know you yeah. need help. You help me a lot in Japan. Help me here, so I cannot let you, you know, in pain. So I remember I cracked his back. He cracked his neck and fix it, you know. And uh, man, uh, one time too, uh, a little story with Bomber. We are in uh, 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 like the beach area. It was a beach area. Uh, mm -hmm. We did a show and we stayed together. And we went to, to this, this hotel. Uh, we went to the second floor. Something happened with some people over there. They start messing with us. And we are like, uh, what is, I mean, we just get here. You know, we don't know what's going on over here. So one of the guys just, just tried uh, to punch him and bam, bam. And he dug the punch, and oh my God, Bummer just beat the hell of that guy. And uh, the guy knew he did every step of the second floor going down, boom, 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 count in the, in the bottom. Oh my God, I mean, what's, what's a crazy, we, we left the hotel. I mean, oh. so many crazy stories that, that happened there. Uh, but we always, always take care of each other, always look uh, for for the the good uh, of the next guy because we are under one umbrella, so we have to take care of each other, and that's what we did all the time, you know. Especially the VSK and the opportunity, you know, thanks to to, to the thirty years of the taker, you know, uh, retirement, and uh, I'm excited to be honest. I'm ready to 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 pack my my stuff. Yeah. I, I, I want to walk to the airport right now. Well, I can't wait to see you, my friend, and I'm I'm sure uh, the whole crew, not only just BSK, but you know, you have a lot of other people that are in the company that you know that remember you from back in the day, and you you to you, and I'm not just saying this because you're a friend of mine. Yes, you're my brother as far as in the business. You paved a lot of ways for a lot of the Latino, the Puerto Ricans that are in the business. And if there's any young Puerto Rican yeah. that's out there right now, if you ever run across Savio Vega, and I'm not just putting a plug in, I'm just talking about because I care for the business. If you ever around this guy here or any independent kid, make sure that you pick his brain because this guy here, he understands the business. He understands the ins and out of the business. Oh, yeah. And he's just all around a, he's all around a straight shooter, meaning Savio don't bullshit for nothing, you know? And yeah. so I can't wait to no, see I you. Need my... to. I don't need to. Yeah, but, you know, the kids nowadays, that's another reason why I wanted to do this talk show, Savio. 
is because, you know, for us, when you talk about you okay. taking care, the boys taking care of ourselves, you know, it was different back in the day. You know, we don't have, we didn't have all the chiropractors, all the, yeah. you know, the people in the back end to be able <laughs> to take care of you. You oh, know, we we took care of ourselves. Sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. You remember, <clears throat> you remember when we when Vince did the big meeting with all the, the wrestlers, it was at Stanford, Connecticut. I remember, and we request that. I remember Baba Big request that and, and say we need trainers, we need people to take care of people to, to take us to, to to be there we need a doctor there with us all the time we request that in the 90s you know and, yeah. and later on they they have this good good for the kids good for the guys you know and but but by, by the time we i mean we don't have that I and mean, we have to take care of each other and we did we did and we survived and we're still here yeah uh, that's that's a you know that's the part to where i was gonna i was getting at was that you know back in the day our group the group of guys you know the wheel turns like there was no if we knew the person was on main event and we were a part of that card we were happy to be on that card and we supported the person whoever that was on the main event but as soon as that main event wheel turns the next person goes to the top of the main event we didn't have no type of like jealousy or because we understood, you know, we understood as a nah. group of guys that we're, we're there to be able to support yeah. whoever that was in the main event. And during that time, it was Yoko yeah. and Undertaker. And they had us up underneath, kind of like the mid-card, yeah. Godfather, us and the Godwins and so forth, and Uncle Fuji, and Crush was there. And it was it was that part of my, yeah. my, my career was probably the most uh, fun part and also the most learning part for me is that, you know, in this industry, oh, yeah. there are, oh, yeah. there are good people. There are good people in this industry that you can really, you know, be able to trust as not only your, your friends, but people in the business that, that is able to, you know, they got your back. Now, you know, we've all taken off and did our own careers, yeah. Yeah. but we, I'm just so happy. And I can't explain to you and say this enough that when I say I am happy to see all of our BSK I remember brothers there to, uh, tomorrow, Ooh. man, it's going to be a great day for all of us, you know. And shout out to all our brothers that passed yes. away, you know, yeah. Yokozuna, Crush, Uncle Fuji, and Paul Bear. I wish they were there with us to celebrate that day with us. Yes, I remember. I remember when uh, when I work with Taker the first time I was uh, with the character Quine and and Taker uh, left the company because I don't know what happened something happened and he was on vacation and something happened and he come back <laughs> and, and his match was against Quine I remember uh, and uh, hey happy to work with that man then I work again as a as a, a, a nation of domination you know. And uh, and I love Taker. He he he's one of the guys that when I tell him uh, that, that I like to have him in Puerto Rico for a car here, he come two times for me, you know. Yeah. And uh, I always uh, thanks Vince Man because he he let me one of his main men come to Puerto Rico. And uh, I, and I remember uh, uh, Vince telling me in one of the television, he said, "Do you know what you have in your hands?" Just like that, and I say yes. He say, "Yeah, you you know what I'm talking about." I said yes. I I, I said no, no thing is gonna happen to these people. I'm there. I'm in. I'm in charge there. And they're gonna be okay. And uh, that happened. I mean, they they come in and out. They got their money. The good hotel. Everything was great. And uh, and something here that uh, uh, you don't know, and, and other people don't know. Papa knows. Uh, uh, one of the one of the tours that we run in Puerto Rico was in 1996. 96. Uh, uh, Taker just finished the boiler room against mankind, and he don't know, and we don't know, and he got a little cut in his uh, elbow. And uh, yeah. what happened here? 
on Sunday, the match here in Puerto Rico, he got a, a, a big infection. I mean, he had a big infection in his elbow. What happened, we have a doctor in house. The doctor cleaned him, you know, to, to, to see if it's a possible to wrestle. I say to him, brother, cancel the match. Don't worry, you're not gonna, you're gonna go to the ring like that. He said, no, 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 no. He was already changed. He said, no, 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 I come here to work. And we come, uh, we we going out there. I said, brother, I mean, Vince give me the opportunity to bring you here, and I'm not gonna send you back, you know, sick or, or injured. He said, don't worry, it, it's my call. I going out there to work, and he worked with uh, Papa with, with, that day, and what a match they did. Uh, by the time he come come out of the ring, we have his mm -hmm. back in the limo, and he went from the from the from the ring straight to the limo, straight to the hotel next day home. And, uh, mm. and well, he know he went to the hospital because after that he was like one week in hospital because he have a, a cellulite, you know, and he was yeah. kind of a sick there. But uh, man, he, he said, I'm going to the ring and he did it. He did a, a great show and the people left home happy without knowing that he was sick. Yeah. Well, you know what? I mean, all due respect to Vince McMahon, but you and I know if Taker didn't want to do it for you, he wouldn't have came, you know? And that, that goes to your relationship oh, yeah. with of you course. and Taker as far as the, exactly. you know, our relationship all together, you know? So, you know, I'm sure he had a great time working with Papa. Yeah. You can just imagine that match with him and Godfather. They just probably been laughing oh, yeah. through the whole match, you know? That's good, man. Well, listen here, yeah, Savio. Yeah, yeah. How can people get a hold Most of you? On, yes, sir. How can people get a hold of you and follow you on okay. all your social media? Well, in Instagram, people could follow me as a Tio Savio Vega. It's T I O. Tio is like uncle. But Tio, Tio Savio Vega in Instagram. On Facebook, you can go on Savio Vega official fan page right there. And uh, on Twitter at Sabio Vega and also at uh, Ninja TNT. I'm plus the people who tune on uh, uh, IWA Puerto Rico. IWA Puerto Rico, that's my company. And all the social media, uh, you could follow us right there. Uh, and you could check on the two the matches that we have from 2002 when IWA was already uh, growing up big time. So check it out, check it out. Okay, my friend. Well, listen here. I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. Yes, it's been a pleasure to you know to you know to chop it up with you, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yes, señor. Make sure you are not late for your flight. Get there early, and then uh, you know, let's have a great time oh, tomorrow with the family oh, yeah. at BSK. Okay, you take care of yourself, and thank you for coming on to the show, my exactly. man. Exactly. Thank you. Love and respect. Muchas gracias, hermanos. Malo, talo, famalo. Malo, talo, fa. Malo, sí, señor, malo. gracias. Thank you, thank you. Malo, wow. Talo, wow, Hamza. Ooh. Well, man, what a guy, man. Mm -hmm. What a guy. You know, uh, uh, with, with uh, I wish that uh, the Wi-Fi on his end was a lot more clear and, uh, you know, didn't break up on a lot of the stories that he was trying to you know, to talk about, but, you know, everything that we caught, you know, I'm here to verify that, you know, we were there together. And mm -hmm. uh, this guy here is just, you know, just a great human being, not personally, I mean, personally, but also professionally as far as in the industry, man. Wow. What was yeah, your you take? Could tell. You could tell his character, man. I could tell just by the stories, just what kind of a person he was. You know, he's one of those guys that looks out for you when you guys are on the road and stuff. So it's just very genuine. You could tell good hearted. Uh, absolutely one of those people that you would love to have in your corner. Just remind me never, ever to get in any kind of cars with you and your crew. Because it seems like <laughs> bad things happen <laughs> inside of cars, especially when they're rentals, huh? Oh, uh, well, you know, hey, <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, man. And that's all I'm going to say about that. You know, the good thing about it is I'm happy we all walked away alive from that. So, mm -hmm. But listen, I want to thank you, man. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you, Hamza, as always, uh, for being my producer there on this end. 
and fans make sure that we have a special special do we have the flyer for Oof, tuesday well, the i am do. wrestling you know mm -hmm. that now there it is right there so make fan uh, go ahead you can make the announcement right there i'm so well, I mean, as you guys can see, we're having a turmoil match coming up. Uh, I was very upset with with Knox Pro. No offense to you, Keish. I know it's your school, but it kind of irritated me that that you guys made a triple threat match with with the real McKeel, El Presidente, and AJ Hudson. So, as you saw, we've me and Maki have made an impact in this place, and we came through and we let you guys know that we're there. And why are we being left off the card? It made no sense to me. But we got this turmoil coming up on Tuesday. Um, if I heard correctly, it's going to be for one of the championships. Presidente's finally got his days numbered as double champ. And I'm looking forward to coming there with Maki and taking one of those titles because we only came here for gold. Like, that's the only reason we're here right now. So, turmoil match on Tuesday. Uh, you guys know who's on, on the match, but the only person that matters in this one is the mighty, mighty Maki. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you, you don't have to... <laughs> You don't have to get hot. I was just asking a I, question about it. I, I mean, I don't, I know, I know, okay. I know. This is the show we do after show, or this this podcast that we're doing and stuff. But you know, this this past week has not been the best for me uh, because obviously you saw what happened last week, and that's not. I didn't think that was the kind of characters that we were developing in Knox Pro. That's not what I assumed when I what? when I you know attacking someone from behind. But it, 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 I'll I'll I'll, di I'll digress, Rikishi. For you, sir, I'll digress at this point. Think long enough. It'll come to you. Think long enough. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you again for tuning in. Make sure you follow all our all our social media handles. That is at Knox Pro on Instagram. You can also go on Twitter and also the page that you're watching at Knox Pro Entertainment. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit the share button. And also, please go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts was for the show. And I want to say this on behalf of myself and the whole crew. I want you guys to have a wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. This is Rikishi Driver, the talk show, and I'm out.